Just like the wrong way up, didn't it? See the baby one over there? See if you can hear him. He flew pretty close to some of you there, and I, I doubt you would have heard him. He's completely silent, and that silent flight is is really important. Uh, the eagle owl will hunt close to the ground. He'll stay close to the ground, so therefore his shadow is always a little bit behind him. And having silent flight means that this bird can creep up on rabbits and hares that have absolutely no idea that he's uh, he's right behind them. Now he's flying very well for us today. We've got no problems whatsoever flying in amongst the audience. Falcon will spend his whole day pretty much sitting inside the tree. Uh, when he's hungry, one short, sharp hunting session, earns himself a meal, sits back down in the tree. Um, whereas these large birds, of course, uh, they need to fly for incredibly long periods of time looking for food. And so in order to keep all of them get a crop full of food, Now the way they're flying here really isn't their natural style of flight, but a few years ago one of our griffin vultures done a, a perfect display as to how the vultures fly naturally. Uh, he found himself a thermal of hot air right above our pond, set his wings, he went up and up and up, disappeared into the clouds. Uh, the next sighting of him was the next day in Land's End. Uh, he was flying so high, nobody saw him and he covered that distance in just a few hours. That really is what these vultures are designed for, incredibly high, long distance flying. 